Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Queen Elizabeth II, her husband Prince Philip who's just passed away, and all their great-grandchildren. So as you know, Prince Prince Philip and Queen Elizabeth have 11 great-grandchildren. One of them is yet to be born. I'm talking about them because the palace, I think it's Kensington Palace, published a picture of both Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip with their great-grandchildren. That photo is dated 2000. 18 and you would see in the photos all the great grandchildren so they were seven in total the kids of uh, the grandkids of the queen namely prince william zara phillips and uh, also peter phillips zara phillips and peter phillips are princess anne's daughter and son and also prince william is prince charles son so on the pictures the cambridge kids prince george who's standing up Prince Louis, who is in the Queen's arms, and little Charlotte, who is waving to the camera. Also, was there the two Peter Phillips daughters, which are Savannah and Isla, the daughters he had with Autumn Kelly, he is now divorcing. And finally, we have the two Tyndalls, Lena and Maya, and those are the kids that Zara Phillips had with Mike Tyndall, the ex-rugby player. So it's a cute picture A few of the kids are missing because they were not born at the time, especially Archie. So some people, when they saw this picture, started asking why Archie wasn't there. First of all, Archie wasn't there because Archie wasn't born at the time. And also, they complained about the fact that Kit Middleton chose this picture and they saw it as a dig to Meghan Markle, as a shade to Meghan Markle. Well, I don't think so. She can only post the pictures that she has or she had and she wanted to mark the passing of prince philip with these beautiful pictures of the baby i am a fan of Meghan markle but i don't think that we should see a dig or a shade when there isn't one and also there's august and the newborn of uh, zara phillips who were not there either so i don't think it was a dig at them as well well but one thing i've noticed is that people use this picture to slate Meghan Markle and slam her again because you would see comments like oh poor Archie he's not going to know his cousin oh poor Archie he wasn't there because the witch decided that she didn't want him to grow with his cousins and things like that well Archie's Meghan's baby it's her prerogative to do what's best for her family so if she decided to move away to go abroad like many of us do sometimes why we should slam her you don't need to be with your parents or grandparents to grow healthily People move abroad, take their children, and they communicate with the grandparents via Zoom. And on top of that, you have to be aware that there's a pandemic. Even if Archie was in the country, I don't think that he would have seen Prince Philip or Queen Elizabeth much. So, yeah, this is what I thought about this picture. Let me know what you think. I hope you like the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.